All right, so today the date is the 30th of March and it is a Saturday. And I've just realized how much my parents have actually sacrificed for me, how many things my parents have actually sacrificed for me throughout their life, throughout my life. If you don't know, basically, I moved from India to Australia at the age of nine. So basically, in early, oh, about maybe, yeah, I'd say around maybe like late 2016, maybe like mid 2016, my parents decided that the education system in India is just really bad. And it's really like hard for students and for kids to basically live there with like the stress of education and all that stuff. So they decided that it wasn't a good country for you know, me and my sister to stay in. And they decided that we would move us for my, my dad, my mom, my myself and my sister would move from India to Australia. And I was nine years old when we did eventually move in um, in in early 2017 and ever since then like they had I won't say too much but they they were bro, they were well off uh, in back in you know back in India in 2016 and so they were well off but they decided to sacrifice everything that they that they'd gotten that they'd gotten for themselves just so that me and my sister would have a better education and a better life and that fucking blows my mind bro for the first like five or six years of being in this country i never really knew the significance of like off my parents moving or deciding to move from uh, india to australia and it, it is it is pretty insane and you know, I've never really paid them back ever. Um, I've, I've always, I'm only 16 years old, so I, I've never had a job. I've never really like contributed like, you know, money towards the family. And it, it, it kind of, it does sort of pain me because my parents have sacrificed so much for me and I haven't really done anything. I mean, I've been a good, good kid. It's it's not that I've been a bad kid or anything. Like I got pretty good grades in high school. I'm still like you know I'm still in, I'm in college now, and I'm you know I'm going to school. I'm not doing drugs or anything. I'm I'm a good kid. But that's the bare minimum. Like that. I mean, not not where like in Australia, like kids are fucking crazy. Yeah, kids like vape. Half the kids I know, um, half the people I know, I should say vape. Um, they don't go to school, they don't, like, you know, they don't value, what well, you know, the life that their parents, like, you know, the parents had to sacrifice for them. They don't value any of that shit, right? So maybe it's not the bare minimum, but to me, it feels like if you're a good kid, and, you know, you're doing whatever your parents ask you to do, but you haven't actually paid them back in any way, I feel like you're still doing the bare minimum, and maybe that, maybe I'm wrong. But I don't know, I feel like I haven't really contributed anything like that important to my family, uh, especially to my parents. Like my sister has a job and stuff like that. Like she earns quite a lot of money and stuff like that. But um, I have yet to do that. And that's one of the main reasons why I even have a YouTube channel, and why I upload videos to YouTube is so that maybe one day I can hopefully uh, financially free not only myself but also retire my parents because they are the ones who the, the reason why I'm sitting on this chair right now and recording this video is because of them none of this right now would be possible if it wasn't for my parents and the amount of things that they sacrifice for me even to this day not just like that move from India to Australia the amount of things that they sacrifice for me and my sister, obviously, on a day-to-day -day basis is, it's something that I cannot imagine. It, it's something that's beyond me. And I know it's, it, it is, it's really, really significant, but I can't, I probably will never be able to hold a grasp of how much they truly actually have 
sacrificed for me. Uh, today's Saturday. It's a weekend. So, not normal, like, you know, my parents both work uh, on, you know, they both work every single day, you know, Monday to Friday. And Saturdays and Sundays are weekends, so they don't work, obviously. And today uh, is Saturday. It's actually a long weekend today because of Easter. So Friday, which was yesterday, Saturday today, Sunday tomorrow, and then Monday, all are holidays because it's Easter. And, you know, this is the time where you normally chill and, you know, my parents would normally, you know, sit down, watch movies, like not go to the you know, since work is closed for four days. You know, you just, you, you, you don't really do anything, right? Except my parents have been gone the whole day. And the reason they've been going the whole day is because they're shopping. They have to buy stuff for, um, like, buy groceries, buy um, things for the house, things for the extension. We're basically extending a house. So they are buying stuff for that. They're buying stuff for... They're just buying stuff in general that we need, that me and my sister could need. They're buying food for us. And they're doing this on the one of the only days of the week that they get free. And it's not even really free because they're gone right now. Um, and yeah, that that's really insane. Like one, the only day that, like this is one of the only days that they get free and away from work and they're spending it on basically just us, on me and my sister. And my sister currently is at work as well. So I'm just home alone. And yeah that that really like if if your parents are kind of like mine and they actually like because i know there are bad parents in the world but like there's probably like only like five ten percent of parents that are actually like that most my, most parents are kind of like mine who genuinely really do care about the kid and you might not think so you might think oh my parents don't let me play xbox or they only let me play video games for one hour a day but like the truth is they really do care about you they've sacrificed so much for you over your entire life and again this is kind of what i'm kind of talking to my past self but i did nothing in return now at least i'm kind like you know i'm trying and this is why i'm making videos so i can uh eventually retire them by making enough money online but for the past 15 16 years i barely did anything i would literally just show up to school just listen to what they said, and that's it. Just do the bare minimum. And I'm realizing that that's I've I've definitely grown a lot. That, that's what I'm real. I've, I'm realizing that I've definitely um, changed a lot, and I'm glad that I have um, have now this sort of understanding that my parents have actually sacrificed so much for me, and I should repay them back. I feel like every kid should should and. I'm actually doing it at a pretty early age. I'm only 16 years old. There's people in their like 20s and 30s who still haven't done that. At least I'm guessing. That's, I'm just assuming. But like, that's still pretty crazy. Like, I'm telling you, there's, I mean, maybe there's one or two people in my college, but like, there's probably like 400, 500 people in my college. I'm guaranteeing you 99% of them aren't doing what I'm doing. And that's, like, they're just, they're just going to school and you're doing the tests or whatever and then just coming back. That's all they're doing. They're not actually repaying their parents in any way. They might have a job, but they just, they get the money and then they just spend it on them, themselves. They just spend it on food and yeah, it's, that's really sad. That That's really sad, man. So if anything, if you can take anything from this video, just please like just do something to repay your parents. Even you might not even have to be like uh, retiring them, just like help them out um and like the dishes or whatever it is just just be nice to them that's it's really all i can say i mean even if this is the bare minimum it's better than just disobeying them doing like vaping doing drugs and shit like that um yeah just listen to them and just know that yeah they do they've sacrificed a lot for you they've sacrificed more than you can ever like imagine with that like They've sacrificed more than anything you could like ever imagine, and pay them back for that. And it, it's gonna take a long time, but just at least take the first step of paying them back. That's really all I can say.